first child. He takes my hand to lead and guide me through the first days when I was still struggling and learning how to walk. He never lets me stumble. I am my father's child. I am my father's child. I play around, but I always feel secure. Cause from a distance, lovingly, he watches over me. My father never leaves me. I am my father's child I know and I believe My father loves me He never leaves me I always want to be Like my father It's everything to me Cause I am my father's child father's child It's all I want And it's all I need to be Life is never so complete Heaven is when I am with him So close beside my father I am my father's child I know when I believe my father loves me, he never leaves me I always want to be like my father He's everything to me Cause I am my father's child I know and I believe my father loves me He never leaves me, I always want to be like my father is everything to me Cause I am my father's child I am my father's child Welcome you to our uh, episode 2 of uh, uh, Spirituality in Daily Life Season 1. Uh, thank you for patronizing this lecture series. We started it uh, yesterday. And uh, just a little bit of recap. Uh, if you uh, can go back to our uh, mini lecture, we talked about spirituality in general. It's nothing else but our... Uh, uh, quest to deepen our relationship with God through our own person. No? And uh, in so doing, uh, seeing basically uh, the development of ourselves no? as we relate also with others. And then we try to define uh, Christian spirituality. Yes, spirituality is our uh, deepening of this relationship with God. But here in Christian spirituality, our focus is Christ. No? Uh, Someone who we know no, is uh, uh, the cornerstone of our own faith. No? Kaya nga po, kung titignan natin, napakaganda nung ating uh, uh, naging uh, 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 foundational lecture. At tinapos nga po natin yon para tignan no, yung uh, magiging flow, especially these next three episodes, no, focusing on uh, our relationship with self and then uh, after the three episodes, we will be focusing on the relationship with others, no? and then uh, that will be another three sessions, and then the final three sessions will be our relationship with God. No? Pero siguro, bago po tayo 
uh, magbigay ng uh, paliwanag tungkol dito sa ating uh, uh, second episode. Balikan po muna natin yung ilang mga question, uh, comments. No? Kasi marami ding mga insights kahapon pero kulang po yung time natin. Namili lang po ako dito ng apat. No? So simulan po natin dito. No? Galing po sa kay MP Bautista, no? Uh, baka si MP nanonood pa rin ngayon, no? Uh, uh, taga uh, presentation of the child Jesus Parish siya, no? Matagal na kaibigan din. Uh, sabi niya, Bishop Milo, when I joined the MBG, I responded to the call of serving Jesus in the Eucharist. And now I continue to nourish and improve my relationship with God and with others, no? Does this mean that I'm trying to improve on my spirituality? Uh, of course, no? uh, MP, if you try to look at uh, the journey into your maturing no, as a Christian disciple, you will see that each day, uh, especially in your service uh, as a Mother Butler's Guild, no? and uh, also as you devote yourself no to the celebration of the eucharist no and adoration of the blessed sacrament uh, uh this nourishment happens and is deepened no? so basically what happens is your spirituality uh, all the more is being uh, grounded this is another question no galing kay william dominic solomon no uh, sabi niya uh, how can a person develop his her spirituality, especially the poor and the needy? I'm sure they need the help of those with strong faith. Uh, William, I'd like to answer it in this way. No, I think we should also perhaps realize, if we will try to paradigm shift from the perspective of your question, that uh, the poor may have also... Uh, uh, already the foundations of spirituality. I know of a good number of poor people no, who uh, have simple faith and are serving the church. No? So, uh, come to think of it, uh, they perhaps, no, in their own little way and how the Lord has touched their lives, uh, may have uh, already gone through a process of deepening their own Christian spirituality. No? So, uh, sana makita din natin, William, na even our poor people no, uh, have what we call already uh, deepening levels of uh, their movement in their spiritual life. And if you even go to our poor parishes or even whatever parish you have, there are poor people who are active servants. No? Kaya, sana makita natin no, that uh, we can also learn a lot from them. Now, I think the point of your question is, how about those who are uh, in the peripheries, really poor, who are what we call unchurch? No? Uh, I think this is where we have to look at their needs no? and respond to their needs. Uh, one could say na pwede kang uh, basta mag-evangelize. E paano yung mga mahirap na nagugutom? Baka hindi ka pakinggan kasi nagugutom. No? So, I think the church, even our parish ko, uh, communities, have programs to reach out to the poor through social service. No? So, that may be uh, an entry point. And then, uh, we can build communities with them. No? And then, do evangelization programs no and see where they are in their spiritual lives and build from there no? so yeah no uh, then if you are a christian disciple you can reach out to them and be an instrument of uh, evangelization or the propagation of the faith maging instrumento ka para sa pagpalag pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita Maganda tong question ni Brian Eugenio. No? Sabi niya, Bishop, how do you, we keep our spirituality in this time of pandemic wherein some people don't feel online mass and much prefer nila ang physical attendance in Holy Mass? Alam mo, Brian, naiintindihan ko ito. Eh, no? uh, Siyempre, how we long to be 
with the Lord inside the church. How we long to celebrate the Eucharist inside the church. Do. Uh, but we have to be realistic at this time. No? Yung stay home, stay, save lives is something that we have to be serious about. No? Kasi, uh, pwede mo kang buksan ang simbahan, tapos lahat pupunta yung mga tao, o gusto mong ma-express at ma-experience yung iyong spirituality given the devotion, celebration of the Eucharist. Pero paano kung lalala yung pandemic? It's not a matter of saying that don't we trust the Lord that He will not abandon us, that He will protect, protect us. Of course, He will always be there. Pero hindi ba alam natin yung kasabihan nasa Diyos ang awa pero nasa tao din ang gawa. So, uh, yes, number one is the grace of God pero importante din yung tinatawag na human Christian cooperation natin. No? So, sana makita natin, no? yes, you may not feel the online mass, pero our faith is not based on feelings. Uh, even when you look at spirituality, there is a feeling level. But the deeper process of spirituality is the faith level. No? So, sana Brian, makita natin to And, uh, Perhaps this is also an invitation to evaluate no, where we are in our spiritual life. No? Uh, kung ganito nga ang crisis, tapos dahil hindi mo ma-feel mag-misa, hindi ka na mag sa online, uh, I think medyo dito dapat tingnan natin kung uh, where is the Lord leading us. No? And then uh, finally, ito ay very interested. Magandang tinanong ito ni Father Hokan Samson, no? Bishop, yung statement na spiritual rather than religious. Um, Father Hokan, maganda pong present nyo ito. Kaya sabi ko, gusto kong i-discuss to, to sandali. No? Kasi marami nga nagtatanong, ano ba kaibahan itong dalawang term na ito? Marami na tayong pinaliwanag tungkol sa spiritual. Spiritualitas. No? Tapos sinabi nga natin yung spirituality, our relationship with God. Ano ba kaibahan nito doon sa term na religious? No? Uh, meron nga ang baling dito, pag nakikita natin, lalo na sa panahon ng millennial generation, parang allergic sila doon sa religious. Mas para sa kanila acceptable yung term na spiritual. Kasi alam mo yung religious, no? sabi nga nyo, pag tinignan mo yung dictionary, kahit ang etymology ng word, no? Ang sinasabi ng religious, pag sinabing religion, respect for the divine. Uh, isang maturation din, no? at evolution ng term ay yung religare. Na parang ang ibig sabihin nito ay yung bang, uh, para bang uh, you are uh, bound no? by obligation. Kaya siguro, no? kasi pag sinabi natin religio, religious, uh, it is sort of attached to a particular religion, like Jewish religion, Islam for the Muslims as a religion, Buddhism, or our Catholic Christian religion. So, these religions, they have what we call rites and rituals. No? And because of our belief, our faith, no, whatever religion you have, not only devotion, but also obligation, what happens is there is that being bound to do these rites and rituals as an expression of your faith. No? Kaya siguro kalimitan, no? mas at home yung iba sa spiritual, mas malawak. Kasi pag sinabi mong obligation, minsan yung iba parang nakoconstrict, nahihirapang tanggapin at kalimitan. No? Uh, dito nga, ang nagiging kalimitang uh, uh, criticism is uh, uh, ibig ba sabihin, wala na akong relationship kay Lord kung hindi ko ifulfill yung obligation ko. Kaya siguro, mas acceptable yung term na spiritual. But, you know, that's a little bit dangerous, ha? We have to be careful also because uh, you may have a spirituality, your relationship with God, relationship with others and of course yourself no uh, and then say that that's enough for you but a time will come that there will be also some sort of uh, search for more meaning no? and perhaps 
in whatever religion you have or religious affiliation, you will see that the rites and rituals that are not done mechanically but with sincerity and with deep understanding may deepen your Christian spirituality. So, sana na-distinguish po natin ito, no? Ha? Kasi, sabi ko nga, malawak yung spiritual, yung religious, mas minsan, no, nakikita natin, attached to a particular religion, its devotions, its rituals that were bound, no, and obligated to them. So, yan po, no, eh, sana nakasagot ako ng konti, no, dun sa mga uh, uh, nakita ko pong comments sa... Uh, kagabi na sa tingin ko makakatulong po para mapalalim natin yung ating lecture series. Now, I'd like to start off by looking at the image that uh, we left off. This is the image of the the cross, no? Kasi uh, sinabi ko nga ito yung three dimensions of spirituality, no? Uh, at gusto ko sana simula na Ang pag-uusapan natin dito sa next uh, uh, three uh, episodes no, or to mga sessions natin will be relationship with self. Ito yung midpoint dimension. No? But as I shared with you, when we talk about spirituality and understanding it in the intrapersonal level, we will not negate the interpersonal or the transpersonal. There will just be a focus, a certain dominance of understanding with regards no, to the intrapersonal level. No? Now, ang naisip kong magandang uh, uh, title or topic no, for this session no, is Appreciating the Gift of My Identity as a Human Being as a child of God and a disciple of Christ. No? And then you will see how we can sort of uh, uncover and things will unfold in understanding our identity or who we are. Uh, alam nyo, nag-aral po ako ng philosophy kaya gusto ko simulan dito kay Socrates. No? Yung iba po sa inyo siguro, no, nung college, kahit pa paano, narinig nyo itong pangalang ito. Isa sa kanyang mga sinabi ay, To know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Magandang pagnilayan po ito, eh, no? kasi, di ba? Uh, uh, how can you become truly wise? No? Is it when you know many things about what's outside of you? I think you become truly wise when we start off by trying to know ourselves first. Kaya sabi niya, no? it is the beginning of wisdom. And then, nasabi din niya, an unexamined life is not worth living. No? Uh, kaya nga, pagtitignan mo yung sarili mo, looking at yourself, no? it is not only looking at the self, but looking at the history of yourself. No? Your whole life, and it is not only seeing it from one stage to another as if data, but reflecting on it. Kaya halos pagtitignan mo yung takbo ng iyong buhay, nagiging maliwanag na yung pag-unawa mo sa sarili mo, at yung nangyayari sa iyong buhay, lalong nagbibigay ng malalim na kahulugan para sa iyo. No? Kaya, it's really important no, to, to start off by these words no, coming from a philosopher. No? Uh, pero alam niyo, meron akong na-encounter one of my favorite saints. Sabi ni Saint Teresa of Avila, no? self-knowledge is so important that even if you were raised right up to the heavens, I should like you never to relax your cultivation of it. So long as we are on this earth, nothing matters more to us than humility. No? Maganda itong sinabi ni St. Teresa. You know? Actually, uh, 
isang Spanish spiritual mystic po ito, no? Doctor of the Church, ha? At marami po siyang mga spiritual discourses, pero nakakatawag pansin sa kanya, if you are in search for God, you want to deepen your relationship with God. Parang sabi niya, ang fundamental, ang basics dito, is knowledge of self. No? And you know, there are things that you will know about yourself that at times, no, you wouldn't like, di ba? Kaya ang ending niya, sabi niya, yes, it's difficult, but there's a certain need for humility so that more and more, you will not be afraid to know yourself. No? So, I think these words no, can be a good springboard no, uh, to enter this uh, reflection. Uh, you want to relate to yourself, then you have to probe into the heart of your that question. And the question is, who am I? Alam nyo, pag titignan natin, uh, yung iba magtataka, but ito na itatanong. Naalala ko nung medyo teenager pa ako, tinatanong ko na to at back of my mind eh. Pero hindi ko to inarticulate ha. Kasi baka kunyari sabihin ko sa kaibigan ko, kabarkada ko, o kahit sa kasama ko sa bahay, baka akalain medyo sira ulo ko, di ba? Kasi tatanong ko, kunyari tinanong ko nanay ko, Nay, who am I? Ha? Baka magtaka, no? Kaya kung titignan mo, yan, yan tanong na who am I, eh, talagang mahirap po yan. Ha? Kasi madali naman sagutin yan. Pangalan mo. Tama na yun, di ba? Oh. Uh, and that may, for you, be sufficient. But I think there is uh, uh, something deeper into this question. No? Actually, it's a philosophical question. No? And later on, we will see that philosophical question can lead us no, to a deeper understanding of our own identity. No? And you will see uh, varying levels, if you want to put it, deepening levels of that identity. Kaya nga mauunawaan nga natin na pag sinabi mong who am I, hindi lang pangalan mo. Later on, makikita natin, pag nasagot na ba ito ng... Uh, isang perspective, tama na yun. Uh, perhaps even after this session, baka pag nasagot na natin kahit mga ilang perspective, magtatanong pa rin kayo, tama na ba yan? And I don't think so. No? Uh, even what we will come to realize in this episode can lead us no, to a deepening understanding of who we are. And we will want to probe more. So, ito na po, no? who am I? No? Siyempre, dahil nga sabi ko yung Christian spirituality tayo, so there's a particular bias. No? And I'd like to look at uh, Scripture, the Bible, to respond to that question. We go back to the book of Genesis. And if you read Genesis 1 and 2, when the Lord when God created the world, He created man. He created the human being. He created Adam and Eve. Pero may maganda siyang sinabi dito. No? Uh, if you look at this first book of the Bible, we are made in the image and likeness of God. Sa Tagalog, kawangis tayo ng Diyos. Kaya kung gusto mong sagutin yung tanong, sino ka? Ba, pwede mong sabihin, o oh, kunyan dyan kayo sa inyong tahanan, may katabi kayong nanonood ngayon, sabihin mo nga, kamukha mo ang Diyos. <laughs> Kasi kawangis ng Diyos eh. No? Yan eh, no? kahit mukhang hindi kamukha ng Diyos yung kausap mo, <laughs> o kaya katabi mo. No? Pero hindi naman yun eh. Uh, hindi lang yun dun sa, ano, dun sa nakikita mo sa muka. No? Kasi I think, uh, when the Lord created the earth created the world, no? Di ba? Sabi nga po sa book of Genesis, he, when he created creatures of this earth, he found it very good. And he was so delighted because he created something beautiful. And the crown of creation, sabi nga ni St. Thomas Aquinas, 
is man, the human being, the human person. And if we are the crown of creation, uh, it is because here in Genesis 1, it is spelled out. We were made in the image and likeness of God. Kaya, maganda din tingnan, you know? Kawangis ka pala ng Diyos, eh. Ito pala ang iyong identity. So, do not desecrate that identity. Because compared to other creatures that God created, as you are the crown of creation, you must be treated with that respect and rev reverence, no? proper to that gradation of what the Lord made in this world. Ngayon po yung una. No? Kaya sana, no, uh, ito yung ating pasalamatan. Kasi nung nilikha ng Diyos ang mundo, isipin nyo, nilikha niya ang tao at sinabi niya, itong nilikha kong ito, kamukha ko. Pag nakita mo ang tao, pag nakita tayo, nasasalamin ang Diyos. So, I think this is something that we can really contemplate about no? in trying to discover who we are. Nakakalungkot lang kung isipin, di ba? Ito na nga, nilikha tayong kawangis ng Diyos, pero tingnan natin ang ginagawa ng tao sa tao. Nilalapas tangan. Sinisira ang buhay. Hindi binibigyang halaga ang katauhan na kawangis ng Diyos. Then let me go to another point. No? If you look at uh, the New Testament, no, you will realize another response to this no, is that uh, we are not only creatures of God. Not only created by God in His image and likeness. If you read in Galatians 4 verses 4 to 7, we are sons and daughters of the Father, co-heirs of the kingdom of God. Malalim na pag-unawa po ito, no? Kasi kung titingnan natin, our identity as Christians makes us realize of a deepening realization of who we are as children of the Father. So, iba yung ikaw, nilikha ka lang ng Diyos, eh, no? Ito, ang magandang uh, unawain ay, sipin nyo, meron tayong Diyos at yung ating pakikipag-ugnayan since spirituality is about relationship, tells us that, imagine, we can call God Abba, Father. That's the words in uh, Scripture. No? We can relate to God intimately no? as our Father. At eto pa, because of this intimate relationship, we belong to the great family of God. And looking at our identity, and we received this when we were baptized, huh? uh, this identity as children of the Father, since we are children of God, then we can look at Christ as a brother. Kaya nga, kapatid natin si Kristo. At dahil nga pamilya, ang tawag nga po natin magkakapatid kay Kristo. Magkakapatid tayo ng ating Diyos ay matatawag nating Ama. Now, just to point out in this uh, uh, last part of the statement, as sons and daughters of the Father, written here in Galatians 4, we are co-heirs of the kingdom of God. Tagapagbana po tayo ng langit, ng kaharian ng Diyos. Wow! Alam nyo, pag uh, mapapalalim lang natin yung pag-unawa dito, Parang eto na nga, no? we belong to the whole family of God and God assures us of eternal life. No? And we can only understand this 
in faith. Dapat makita po natin no, na napakalalim no, ng uh, ating katauhan. Kasi isipin nyo, no, uh, hindi lang matatawag natin ang Diyos na Ama, kundi dahil kasama na tayo sa Kanyang pamilya, ipinagkaloob niya ang buhay na walang hanggan. Tagapagmana tayo. So, iyan pong pagiging anak ng Diyos. So, you see already, no? A deepening identity. Kanina, kawangis ng Diyos. Pero ito, hindi lang itong pinagkaloob. Tayo po yung mga anak ng Diyos. And that's why our relationship with each other, itong interpersonal relationship is understood even in the transpersonal level our relationship intimately with God the Father. Uh, pero meron pa pong ikatlo. At ito yung sinasabi sa John 17. And you can see this also in other scripture texts in the Gospel. So, we are also servants of Christ, disciples of the Lord. No? Um, actually, in John 17, ang tawag po dyan, since the 16th century, is the high priestly prayer of Jesus to the Father. And He was praying for His disciples, but He was also praying here for His would-be disciples who would serve Him. Tayo po yun. No? Kaya, uh, sana maintindihan natin, no? yes, the apostles were called, but then, this spills over that's why we have uh, the early church, we have the saints, and now us. Magandang maunawaan na kasama po sa ating katauhan ay yung pagiging lingkod ni Kristo. Na tayo tinawag ng Panginoon na maglingkod sa Kanya at sa Kanyang simbahan. I put this here no, so that we will see basically a deeper meaning into who we are. That our life is not only for us. Being a disciple of the Lord means that the grace that we have received as children of the Father, mga anak ng Diyos, should also be shared in discipleship as we are sent in mission. At alam naman natin yan, no? tignan nyo kayo, kayo po na, na nasa ating uh, mga parokya. No? Pwede naman kayo sa bahay lang. No? At sabihin nyo, oh, itong paglilingkod ko, pwede na dito sa family ko, tama na yon Pero bukod doon, nakikita nyo, uh, pwede maglingkod lang kayo sa inyong blood family. Pero nakikita nyo, no? I want more. And there's a leading for more. And that's why, you do an outreach. You go to your outer circle in your parish community. But it actually doesn't mean that if you are just a, a parishioner or a servant in the parish, that is the only service to Christ. No, there are many ways to serve. No? At alam po natin yan, no? uh, uh, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, ang... COVID-19 pandemic, nakikita na natin ang mga disciples of Christ. No? Christians, no? Doing their own thing in their own little way so that they can give comfort, consolation to people. So that they will serve others. No? Even with their profession. Papansin nyo nga, di ba, sa social media, ah, uh, May mga artista, kumakanta, religious songs, songs of hope. Uh, pero siguro yung ilan dyan, di namang servant sa parish. But they're Christians. No? And they want to reach out to others through their songs. No? At marami pa pong iba. Sabi nga po, uh, nakikita na natin ngayon no? yung mga frontliners natin sa hospitals. No? They are serving uh, all of us. And they're not only serving Christians, they're serving humanity as a disciple of Christ no? to save lives. No? 
Kaya yan po, no, uh, I hope I was able to uh, respond a little bit to that question, who am I? No? To summarize, who am I? I am a creature of God. I am a child of God. I am a disciple of Christ. No? Um, we can respond in this way, no? and I'm sure... Uh, as you contemplate more, there are things that will come to your senses, to your rationality. Uh, marami pa po tayong mapaglilimian. Madadagdagan pa po natin ito. Pero para sa akin, parang basically, fundamental to given the tripod of relationship in our own Christian spirituality. Ito po yung ating mga points for reflection. Baka po mga makatulong po. No? First is, what have I discovered about myself? Do I appreciate my identity as a creature of God, a child of the Father, and a disciple of Christ? No? Uh, we welcome po your uh, uh, responses to this or whatever insights that have come out no, in your uh, uh, listening to this uh, mini lecture sana po no uh, baka hindi lang comments questions no uh, we would welcome them so that we could respond to them uh, given this uh, uh, episode no uh, siguro as a sort of break no uh, alam niyo na alala ko nung high school pa ako parang nauso itong kantang ito eh no at uh, baka pwede nating tignan as a good synthesis no sa ating reflection on uh, who am i no alam ko uh, yung iba sa inyo kabisado to kinakanta din to sa ating mga misa o baka gusto niyo ring kantahin ngayon no ito yung kantang sino ako no so before we go to our own interaction and engagement no for this episode uh, let's uh, listen to this song. Let's contemplate on this song. Pakinggan po natin at maaaring maging daan para lalo nating maunawaan kung sino tayo sa mata ng Diyos. Thank you. 
Magandang hapon po. Si Bishop Milo po ay kailangang umalis dahil sa isang consultation ng Interagency Task Force on COVID tungkol po sa religious gatherings. Kaya po pinakiusapan niya ako na ako muna sa question and answer. No? So, nagkapasalamat po kami sa mga sumama kay Susan Cosca San Jose, no? thank you for joining, kay Nimen Villasin, si Rolando Bartolome, merong uh, comment dito eh. No? Sabi niya, uh, some say, uh, I believe in God, but I don't believe in the church. No? Can we really separate the two? No, pwede bang paghiwalayin yung panayag natin sa Diyos at panayag natin sa simbahan? Kung hindi ka katoliko, okay lang, walang problema po. Pero kung katoliko ka, hindi natin pwede paghiwalayin yung belief in God and belief in the church. Kasi po, nung binyagan tayo, 
we are incorporated into Christ, no? And also, we are incorporated into the church. Kaya po hindi pwede. Kahapon nga po, sabi ni Bishop, di ba, merong journey in our spirituality, personal journey with Christ, but also personal journey with the church. Kaya po, hindi po natin talaga pwedeng paghiwalayin talaga yung uh, spirituality and religion, no? Bagamat sila ay magkaiba, no? So, acknowledge din po natin yung iba nating mga participants, katulad ni Nelly Cariscal de los Santos, thank you. Uh, Sino pa ba yung ating narito? Nag-sets, nag-ano? Ayan. Si Myra Ilagan de la Cruz. No? Sabi niya, I am nothing without God. No? So, ang ganda po ng sinabi niya. No? Uh, wala po tayong spirituality kung wala po ang Diyos. No? Kasi po ang spirituality ating paglalakbay kasama ang Diyos. No? Si Ma'am uh, Ampi, meron siya sinabi eh. Sabi ni Ma'am Ampi kanina, sabi niya, we are created after the image of God, no? Kaya kailangan we have to respect one another. Tama po yon Ma'am Ampi. Si Ma'am Ampi po ay dati naming school principal sa College Santa Ana, no? Hello Ma'am Ampi. Kumusta po kayo? No? Uh, tama po yung sinabi nyo dahil tayo'y nilikhang kawangis ng Diyos, no? dapat nating itrato ng may respeto ang bawat isa. No? Uh, the more we respect each other, the more we respect the God who created us. No? Kung uh, mamahalin natin yung bawat isang tao, minamahal natin yung Diyos na lumika sa Kanya. No? Thank you for joining us. Itong si uh, Nieves Lacuna, Don, uh, si Bering, Mam, Mam Bering Kakananta. Kumusta po kayo, Mam Bering? Uh, si Mam Bering po ay kasama namin sa uh, Pasig Jason School System. No? At uh, siya po ay aming kinikilala bilang isa sa matag naming mga school administrators no uh, thank you ma'am Bering for joining us no maganda rin yung uh, contribution ni ma'am Gigi Tupas sabi niya when we begin to know who our authentic selves are we begin to enter more deeply who God is and who created us no So, tamang-tama yung kanyang uh, contribution, no? Uh, pag uh, seryoso po tayo sa ating spirituality, tayo ay nasarap ng Diyos, makikilala natin yung pagkatao natin. Makikilala natin kung sino tayo sa harapan ng Diyos, no? So, ha, yun po yung isang bunga ng uh, deepening of spirituality. We come to know our core identity. No? Sino nga ba tayo sa harap ng Diyos? Kasi sa harap ng Diyos, hindi tayo pwedeng magtago. Hindi tayo pwedeng magsinungaling. No? Sa harap ng Diyos, kilala niya tayo. No? Sabi nga, God knows us more than we know our very selves. No? Sabi naman ni Joyce Alcazar Pangaliban, we are all children of God. No? So, lahat tayo, anak ng Diyos, sa pamamagitan ni Kristo Jesus. No? Jesus, the Son of God. When we were united with Jesus in the sacrament of baptism, we have been adopted sons and daughters of God. No?
Tingnan po natin yung iba pa nating mga comments dito. Si Rolando Bartolome, meron din siyang comment tungkol sa having and being. Eh. Sabi niya, my identity is not based on having, no? but on being. Siguro ang ibig niya sabihin, yung aking uh, identity, hindi dahil meron akong uh, college uh, degrees, no? meron akong kayamanan, meron akong malaking bahay, meron akong maraming savings, having. No? Sabi niya, hindi yon Ang identity natin talaga yung being. No? Being beloved child of God. No? Being redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. No? Being temple of the Holy Spirit. No? Ito yung talagang identity natin sa harap ng Diyos. No? At ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng dignity. Mawala man yung ating health, mawala man yung ating knowledge, mawala man yung ating possessions. No? Pero kung sa puso natin handoon yung conviction that we are kawangis ng Diyos, anak ng Diyos, no? alagad ni Jesus, ito yung ating uh, pangahawakan sa ating buhay. No? So we acknowledge also uh, Cecil Abila. Uh, kumusta po kayo? Si William Dominic Solomon. Ayan. Sabi ni Uh, William Dominic Solomon, a person who wants to deepen his or her own spirituality, must learn who we are. And the best answer is that I am a child of God and I rely on Him always. Amen. No? So, agree ako sa'yo, uh, Solomon. No? Uh, talagang uh, sa Diyos tayo hahawak dahil nasa panahon ito ng uh, general uh, itong ating quarantine, talagang siyang ating lalapitan, sa kanya tayo maninikluhod, sa kanya tayo hihingi ng tulong, no? uh, siya yung ating uh, pag-asa no? sa panahon ito. No? So salamat din kay Mercy Silanga Almiranes, no? kay J.B. Cruz, no? uh, J.B. sabi niya, Uh, may tanong si JB dito, sabi niya, How can we see and appreciate our real identity kung, for example, we have issues with our fathers? No? Uh, may naalala kong kwento tungkol dito, eh, JB. Eh. Mayroong isang seminarista, habang tinuturo sa kanya seminaryo na, na God is love, hindi niya mag-gets, no? Especially yung image na God the Father as a loving, merciful, caring father. Hindi yung matanggap. Kasi yung experience niya sa, ba- sa bahay ay cruel yung kanyang tatay. No? Kaya hirap na hirap siyang tanggapin yung uh, uh, image na loving father, caring father. No? So, uh, JB, ang may papayo, kailangan ito ng processing, no? Siguro kailangan kumusulta sa isang psychologist, no? psychiatrist para ma-process yung iyong experience, no? Balita ko sa kolehiyo sa Ana, mayroong magagaling na counselor diyan, no? So pwede kayong lumapit diyan at uh, alam ko tutulungan kayo ng mga counselors diyan sa kolehiyo sa Santa Ana, ha? Para ma-process yung ating mga negative experiences sa ating mga uh, tatay, ha? Meron pa ba tayong ibang ano rito? Comments? Sa sangalan po ni Bishop, ano, papasalamat po kami sa lahat ng nakiisa. Uh, nais ko lang pong i-plug in yung aming orphanage. No? So dito po sa Pasig, meron tayong tahanan ng pagmamahal Children's Home Orphanage. No? Uh, ito po ay malapit sa dahis ng Pasig. Bakit po? Kasi po, yung lupa o saan nakatayo yung orphanage ay idunate na sa dahis ng Pasig. No? 
at dalawang pari po ng diocese ang member ng board of trustees nito, si Father Lito Hobson at uh, si Father Orlando Cantillon po, no? Sila po yung member ng board of trustees, no? Sa ngayon po, meron tayong mga 40 orphans, no? Orphans, uh, abandoned children, no? Uh, children uh, experiencing violence, no? Uh, inaampun po ito at inaalagaan at pinapag-aral hanggang sila ay 8 years old, no? Uh, kailangan po namin ng suporta ninyo, no? Kung meron pong nais na uh, tumulong, no? Uh, Kasman po or goods, no? Welcome po. Bisitahin nyo lang po yung aming webpage, no? At uh, tahan ng pagmahal children's home. Ha? Uh, sa Pasig po yan, no? Welcome na welcome po ang inyong tulong at donasyon. Sa ngalan ng Ama, at ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Orena ng Langit, magalak ka. Alleluia. Sapagkat ang minarapat mong dalhin sa iyong sinapupunan, Alleluia, ay nabuhay na magmuli na gaya ng kanyang sinabi, Alleluia. Ipanalangin mo kami sa Diyos, Alleluia. Matuwa ka at magalak, O Berheng Maria. Alleluia. Sapagkat tunay na muling nabuhay ang Panginoon. Alleluia. Manalangin tayo. O Diyos, na sa pamamagitan ng muling pagkabuhay ng iyong anak, na si Heso Kristong aming Panginoon, ay minarapat mong paligayahin ang mundo. Hinihiling namin sa iyo na alang-alang sa Berheng Maria na kanyang ina, ay makamtan namin ang kaligayahan sa buhay na walang hangga. Sa pamamagitan din ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong unang-una, ngayon at magpakailanman. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo, Kapara noong unang-una, ngayon at magpakilanman. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak, at sa Espiritu Santo. Kapara noong unang-una, ngayon at magpakilanman. Amen. Sa ngalan ng Ama, at ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Amen.